Good morning, everyone. My name is Gudardo Juanich, a graduate student of the Kentucky State University. I will be presenting to you the topic Reuse Technology Using the Commissioned Facilities and Reclaimed Water for Hybrid Stripe Bus Production. Well, first of all, let me define what is reclaimed water. Reclaimed water is a municipal wastewater that has been treated, disinfected, and reused for beneficial purposes. There are about 15,000 wastewater treatment plants in the U.S. at present that produce 33 billion gallons of reclaimed water every day. Out of this, just 8% is reused, and 95% of these reused water occurred in the states of Arizona, California, Florida, and Texas, where they use this reclaimed water in irrigation, groundwater recharge, industrial reuse, and geothermal energy. The majority, 92% of the not utilized reclaimed water are just drained back into the rivers. These billions of gallons of processed effluents, which are released every day back to the river system, are often cleaner than first removed upriver for supplying drinking water. So, it's very clear that billions of gallons of reclaimed water discharged every day and not utilized is a waste resource. The rapid growth of population and industrialization affects the use of water on our planet. And the current drought that faces many states in the U.S and many nations around the world makes water a limited resource. Water efficiency has driven attention to find new sources of high quality water. With technological advances in wastewater treatment facility, many municipalities in the U.S. today are decommissioning the old ones, just like what we see in this picture. This is an old wastewater treatment facility that uses stabilization ponds or lagoons. The old facilities are decommissioned in favor of the new, more efficient methods of processing wastewater. The new wastewater treatment facilities are usually constructed adjacent to the old ones. These old decommissioned facilities, which are doomed for demolition, has great potential for converting into aquaculture because of its established ponds or lagoons, and even tanks that could be utilized for raising fish. And besides, water requirements for aquaculture could be readily supplied by reclaimed water produced from the adjacent new wastewater treatment facility. This is a picture of a stabilization pan or lagoon in the old facility used for initial treatment of wastewater. But after construction of a new facility, this pan or lagoon is decommissioned and not used anymore. However, this pan or lagoon is being cleaned up, disinfected, and converted into an aquaculture pan. And using reclaimed water from the adjacent new facility, the pan is utilized for the production of hybrid stripe bass. The goal of this study was to develop 
a reliable, sustainable aquaculture system using reclaimed water in decommissioned wastewater treatment plants in Kentucky. While its specific objectives were to evaluate the production of hybrid striped bass from fry into fingerling sizes using a decommissioned sludge thickener tank and to compare growth and production of hybrid striped bass using two decommissioned facilities. This is an aerial view of the Frankfurt wastewater treatment plant where the first objective was undertaken right here on this red circle. In June 2011, 14,000 hybrid striped bass fry were stacked in the 135 cubic meter decommissioned sludge thickener tank at the Frankfurt wastewater treatment plant. This circular tank used reclaimed water that received secondary treatment and ozone disinfection. The fry was initially fed daily with the salmon starter crumbles and upon reaching 5 grams, they were fed daily with 1.6 millimeter floating pellets at 5% body weight for one month. Upon reaching 20 grams, they were fed with 3.2 millimeter floating pellets at 3% body weight per day for another month. The fish were harvested in September 2011, attaining fingerling sizes of 57 grams. These are the fingerling sizes of the hybrid striped bass harvested in the first study at the Frankfurt Wastewater Treatment Plant. The fish fingerlings were transferred to another wastewater treatment plant size for grow out testing where two different systems were compared. The first one was in Winchester Wastewater Treatment Plant where one of its decommissioned oxidation lagoon or pan was utilized. As we look at this Winchester wastewater treatment plant aerial picture, we can see that in the right hand part are the decommissioned facilities, while in the left hand part are the newly built wastewater treatment facilities where the reclaimed water used in the study came from. This lagoon or pond at Winchester wastewater treatment plant having an area of 0.8 of a hectare was stuck with 12,000 hybrid striped bass fingerlings. The fish were fed daily with 45% protein at 3% of the fish body weight. The second site was in London wastewater treatment plant where one of its decommissioned rectangular clarifier tanks right here in this oval red color was utilized. This tank having an area of 800 cubic meters was stacked with 2,000 hybrid striped bass fingerlings. The fish were also fed daily with 45% protein at 3% of its body weight. In November 2012, the fish at Winchester Wastewater Treatment Plant attained an average weight of 575 grams, while the fish grown at London Wastewater Treatment Plant weighed an average of 410 grams. Results of this study have shown that hybrid striped bass can be raised successfully into fingerlings and marketable sizes using reclaimed water in decommissioned wastewater treatment facilities. Thank you.